full on unedited as life is. Just there you go. So I'm gonna talk to Clark and then we're just gonna play tag. We do tag you're it. Yeah, let's do so it. So I'll tag the next person with no warning whatsoever. And do, it's gonna be Ryan. Do the little <laughs> OLC live dance. There's a warning, I know. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey friends. Hey, hey, hey everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. OLC Live. It's for real real at OLC Innovate 2019. I am Angela Gunder and I am one of the folks that's helping to host OLC Live. And I'm like, what else am I? I don't even know. All what kinds I am. of things. <laughs> <laughs> for a good time. I'm a friend and a pal, a collaborator. <laughs> Uh, and I'm here with one of my uh, frequent co-conspirators who also happens to be the conference co-chair, Clark Shaw Nelson. Hey, hey everybody, welcome. We're very happy to be here in Denver, Colorado or Aurora or something. Yeah. Airport adjacent. Yes. That's for real. So for all of you folks that are watching this feedback at home, because this is really early, we're doing breakfast on Mountain Time I guess some of you East Coast birds, like this is a legitimate time. Tonight might be late when we do our recording, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit, but um, for all of you that are watching back the feed, we are in a field with a bunch of prairie dogs. Lots of prairie dogs standing around. It is legit. Um, we're gonna be co-opting some of them to be hosts for OLC Live for certain segments of this. So stay tuned for that. You never know who's gonna be here, human or prairie dog, that's legit. Um, and yeah, we um, thought that we would kick off this morning by talking about pieces of the conference that folks are most excited about. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Clark. What are you super excited about? I think the Interviews uh, with the keynote speakers um, yep, and so, just guests left and right. So tomorrow we have Tracy McMillan Cottom at 3 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, and on Thursday we have Manoush Samredi at 5 p.m. Mountain Time uh, for um, keynote interviews with them. So those will be super excited. Uh, I'm also excited about these woman on the street oh, interviews yeah. that we have too. So. The roving reporters. Yeah. So we're not going to be confined to just this room. We're gonna to try to take you to as many pieces of the conference. And um, Clark mentioned the website. I'm also gonna put on Twitter under the hashtag OLC Live, all sorts of links for the schedule, for um, reminders of when we're gonna be recording and what we're gonna be recording. Some of them will be in the evening hours, late mm -hmm. night hours. Good for the Pacific time zone. Right, those <laughs> folks on the East Coast are gonna be long asleep or... <laughs> <laughs> having dinner with their family or whatever, but they can catch the recordings later. I so. like this 12.30 p.m. dinners with my family. <laughs> <laughs> Those were really popular in our household. We're also from Spain, so that is a thing. Oh, that yeah, there. that's exactly the time <laughs> for Spain, right? Um, I'll mention one other thing so that other I don't take everything that everybody else wants to talk about, but um, I am excited about Two Doors Down is the Serenity Lodge, um, which is a quiet space where you can kind of get away from the hubbub and the noise of the vendors and all of the other stimuli that causes overstimulation. So just kind of a relaxing environment. There's gonna be some meditation going on in there um, a, a couple of times a day. There's a schedule for that. Um, I think we're gonna actually do an OLC live little mini tour of that on Thursday. I believe it's mistaken. Thursday, yeah. yeah. Um, at three o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. So check the yeah. schedule, prove us liars if we got the time wrong. I mean, it's, it's legit. Yeah. And so the whole idea here is that we're bringing you, uh, virtual folks to not only inter interviews here, but also around the conference. So you get to see some of the things that you would see if you were here basically. So the serenity lodge, some of the parties that are going on in the evenings, the, uh, the game night that's going to happen, so on. I don't want to go too deep into that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, very exciting. 
Well, game night's your first chance to join us in the field too. That's at 9.15 p.m. tonight, if I didn't say it already. There's gonna be a lot of time reminders. I hope everybody has a pad and a pen and they're jotting down all of this very specific information. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. All right. Okay, so let's tag in the next person, hi. Huh? <laughs> Ryan, come on I down. I think Dr. Ryan Strait is bum, in the bum, house. Bum. No, you're not leaving. Oh, I'm not leaving, okay. <laughs> hi. You stay fit. This is a classy establishment we're oh, right here. Sorry about the microphone drop there. I, mic drop, mic drop. I think that will. I see this dance. Hi, friends. It's a little tied up there. <laughs> Pure <back. laughs> All right. Hello. Dr. Strait from Arizona, I presume. I presume correctly. And I apologize for the mic management. And this is guy, if you've ever seen this guy and, and heard his podcast, you know that he, he's, in terms of microphones, he's got like the, probably one of the world's greatest microphones. I, see. <laughs> like, I think Rode appreciates the free plug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so <clears throat> the way I figure it is people have to listen to me all the time, so they should at least enjoy it right maybe. yeah I don't know. <laughs> you get the like the movie quality voice um so uh what are you excited about for olc innovate in you know 2019 what? to be honest i'm there's nothing i'm not it's be a year it's like it's been a day work and meet new people and so on and um like this is one there's the slack channels that people can join up and and get to know folks there yeah our slack team is, is pretty active right now really. yeah um and it's not it's it's both internal for the administration you know us kind of folks mm -hmm. uh, but also all the all the attendees if you want to jump on and and find you can do that you have you know Hey, I was thinking about running into town. Does anybody want to get a ride share? That kind of thing. Um, it's, yeah, it's a great way to connect. It's not uh, not as kind of ephemeral, maybe, and, and fleeting as something like Twitter or, or mm -hmm. trying to find everybody's phone numbers to send a group text and things mm -hmm. like that. Then you get 20 phone numbers and they're talking to you and you're like, I don't know who you are. I, I don't have yeah. any phone. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think about the differentiation between like Twitter and Slack and sort of how mm -hmm. people can process that difference and how to use how to know what to use when and i guess what i a little better for like um kind of connections um spontaneous connections or or even just questions um, I mean, you can probably do that in Twitter as well, but I think that if you have a very specific question, like somebody was just asking, what's the wireless password in, <laughs> in Slack? And typically it's being monitored by OLC staff and rangers and all kinds of other folks. Mm -hmm. Folks like us? Yeah. Folks that just like to, just like to build community. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And, um, and you're doing a, a, a session some, which, which day? figure out how to do it, uh, mostly around uh, essentially connecting students that live hundreds and hundreds of miles apart and only are online and getting them to feel like they're uh, part of a, a small college experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was tasked with trying to figure out how to do this and I had no idea whatsoever. And uh, it, everything just kind of fell together and that was, that was uh, what led me in that direction with the pod. Uh, so yeah, if, you, if you're not doing anything at 1 p.m. tomorrow, come come to that. <laughs> yeah, and there's uh, and there's the award ceremony this evening. I don't know if they're stream. I, I, they're probably not streaming that, are they? Where they're giving out uh, a lot of awards for the best in track and and, and other awards. Um, and uh, I believe you're getting something there too, huh? Yeah, I got best in track. Sweet. Yeah. 
the uh, Educate and Reflect. So it's a kind of half traditional session, half workshop. It's a really great, Ooh, that brings really to great mind, format, really great format. That brings to mind the program. I wish we had the, somebody from the program committee here <laughs> to talk about the different um, new, uh, <laughs> new types of sessions that we're going to have. If I could just conjure up a John Stewart <laughs> somehow. Did you like that transition? Wasn't that good? <laughs> that was fantastic. That was totally <laughs> oh, hey, there's John Stewart. <laughs> it would have been, can we, can we cut that? We'll try a second take where he actually falls from the ceiling <laughs> right into the chair. Just dissolved on the screen. <laughs> Yeah, Welcome. We're, we're excited about the new, a couple new formats. Uh, a lot of it we just kept from, from last year and from the year before. Uh, I was still really excited about conversations, not presentations. Uh, my favorite format for just getting discussions going around the room. But our new format this year is um, trying to take some of the presentations and give people more space, more time to reflect during the, the presentation. So the idea is that you present for 20 or 30 minutes and then you give everybody five or 10 minutes to just quietly reflect, maybe talk to their neighbor, think about how to, you know, how to take what they've learned uh, back home with them. And then we have uh, open discussion Q&A at the end of the session. So we're just building some of that reflection into uh, our sessions this year. Mm -hmm. And so that's the, the new session format that we're excited about. We'll see how it works out. And we hope that it'll give people time to just, uh, just absorb. Yeah, and probably also a chance to like, take some things that they t put in their notes or whatever and tweet things and yeah. you know, pass, pass the word around about some of the things they're experiencing. Yeah, I mean, I, I've loved the conference, but it's just so back to back and busy and, and you're you know, moving from one place to another all the time. And so we wanted to just give people a, a second to, uh, to think about their notes and actually write some stuff down before you move on to the next thing. Fantastic. Um, what else uh, are you excited about uh, for, for OLC Innovate this year? I was going to, I was thinking, you know, as Ryan said, we get to see everybody that we know and, and have worked with for years. Um, but I'm also, I'm super excited for the new people that we're bringing from our office and them getting to, to meet everybody and uh, meet the people they've been talking to online for, you know, the last six months or the last year. And uh, just seeing, you know, sort of how they adjust into the new space. Uh, now that I've, I've been to a few of these, uh, getting to see, you know, new people here is really exciting for me. Um, I think the conference does such a great job and, and largely for the Ranger program, which you've been helping out so much in helping welcome those new people. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the Ranger program and what you're doing oh, with the man. show? Yeah, that's a great idea. So right next to the registration, uh, and just for a little bit of uh, orientation, so there's, when you come from the lobby level, um, you walk down toward the conference center or whatever, and that's one level. And all that's on that level is basically registration and like the vendors are on that level. Then you have to go down the escalator or the elevator to the next level down. That's where all the stuff's happening, like this room, Serenity Lodge, all of the session rooms are on that bottom level. Um, and But next to registration, I, also I should mention, is where the ranger station is. And so that's where the rangers are um, there to ask, you know, answer questions, help get people oriented to the space, um, help them, you know, get get their things figured out as they first get started in the conference. And it's really kind of meant especially for those who are brand new to the conference. Although, you know, since we have a new venue this year, the, you know, it's kind of like new for everyone. Yeah. So um, they're, they're a good resource for figuring out, you know, where to get coffee or water or the bathrooms or whatever it is you're looking for. Um, and then of course they're like we mentioned on the Slack channel as well for getting questions answered and so on. Yeah, and to help familiarize people with the space, we're going to have some walking tours uh, hosted out of the ranger station um, and have conversations about, you know, things here at the conference. I'm leading one on uh, open educational resources on Thursday where we'll, we'll walk around the venue, but also, you know, talk about OER and answer some questions there. Awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. And that was a, I think that was an idea that we borrowed from Accelerate uh -huh. um, and brought over the, the walk and talk. Right, exactly. Yeah, there's a little bit of... Uh cross-pollination between yeah. the two there. Ex absolutely. Um, I guess another element of that cross-pollination is Maddie Shelgren is here with the, uh, the escape room. And I think she'll be running that, I think, just on Friday. Uh -huh. um, I know I'm going to be there Friday and, uh, and trying to actually successfully escape this time. And we're going to have a woman on the street there on Friday too, right? Yep, yep. So this is going to be an OLC live broadcast on Friday in the escape room. And I, I have a feeling they'll do better than we did last year. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we tried doing just three of us to do the escape room. It was Taylor, Kendall, 
Taylor Kendall, myself, and John. And John was also streaming on OLC Live with his phone. Yeah, and we, we neither escaped nor did a particularly good job of streaming it. So hopefully better this time. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it and seeing what she's got in store for us this year. Awesome. Thanks for mentioning that stuff. Um, speaking of the escape room, it makes me think of that whole innovation what is it called? The Innovation, innovation Studio, studio, studio now? It yeah. used to be the Innovation Lab, now it's the Innovation Studio. Yeah, and they've changed things up a little bit this year, but yeah. I'm not quite sure how much they've changed it up or what they've done. Yeah. Maybe, we should, maybe we should bring in somebody. If we could find somebody to help us figure that yeah, out. Like the, like, one of the engagement chairs or somebody. Yeah, like like Keegan or Kate. Yeah. Where's, where's Kate Miffitt? Where's <laughs> Kate Miffitt? Keegan, where's Keegan? Oh, hey. That's great timing. How's it going? How's good. It going? good to see you. Come on in. No, Grab a seat. I'm, I'm, I'm kicking you out. Okay, good. Okay, tag. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great conference. So, Keegan, you ran the Innovation Lab last year, and then this year you're engagement chair, and you're helping to uh, to keep it going, but also doing doing so much more. So, what's changed about Innovation Lab this year, and what are you excited about? So, I think one of the things. Uh, well, I mean, the first thing because you all mentioned just the, the escape room. Like, I'm super jazzed about that because I didn't get to attend the, the last one that ran. So that's, that's definitely at the top of my list. Um, the, the other thing though that I'm really interested in is there, the, um, there's something called the, the um, great um, design off, which is gonna be after, uh, kind of modeled after the great British bake off. Um, so, you know, I, I'm not quite sure like how all of the pieces are going to fit together um, yet for those, but I'm so excited to, to jump in and uh, see, you know, what folks are doing in those spaces and how that's going. Um, they have so many awesome sessions that, as well in, in that space. So I'm definitely looking forward to those too. Yeah. And Daniel Lins is down there bringing people in as, uh, as what designer, guest designers, I guess, and talking about their projects and and sharing what they're doing. Are you signed up for any of those sessions? Um, I'm not signed up for those, but yeah, he's the, he's the designer in residence. Um, and he's, uh, yeah, he'll be uh, working with folks and talking with them about their projects and everything that they love to do too. So just another awesome way to, for folks to mingle and connect. And yeah, I, I think it's gonna be awesome in that space for sure. Um, besides that, I'm, I was, so I was surprised this morning. I'm really looking forward to, um, like we have evening, things that are going on all week. Um, we have, well, now we have, um, we have Dungeons and Dragons every night now <laughs> at 7 p.m. So that's cool. Uh, but on top of that, we also have like tonight's game night. And I was just informed that they added a, a screen to our equipment list because apparently some of the OLC um, like staff folks decided they all wanted to bring their switches too. So there's gonna be a lot of video games playing tonight. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, and yeah, just those fun surprises uh, that are that keep rolling out as you know we come together and have fun. It's awesome. I'm going to be playing Bears versus Babies, and I'm rooting for the Bears. So uh, I, they have a good shot. Um, I did bring that too. Nice. So we are in business. Two two copies of Bears versus Babies going. Um, <laughs> what uh what other events I guess do we have going on at nighttime? So tonight is game night, but what's going on tomorrow night? Yeah, so tomorrow night is going to be uh, an interesting one. So it's the idea night, um, and it's uh, it's based around one of the scholarships um, that um, that we host, and we're doing a, um, a like a, a costume kind of get together and party and stuff. So um, I haven't really told anyone about mine yet, but I'm so excited. So I'm so ready for it. Um, but I'm also excited to see, you know, uh, anyone else that comes out with any of their costumes. Plus we're going to have things, uh, for, uh, creating your own. And this will be um, somewhat of a contest too. We're just going to have some fun, uh, during that evening. And then our final evening. So Thursday night is going to be, uh, a night on the town is what it is. So we'll meet uh, in in the uh, in the front area, and we will uh, ride share out so that we can meet at the Stanley Marketplace is where we're heading. So lots of us will be there. We'll be hanging out. Um, I believe it's where uh, we're also going to be doing some uh, uh, other uh, live video streaming too. So yeah, definitely looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Yeah, I'm going to be inviting some of my my Denver friends out to the Stanley Market to join us and. Uh, looking forward to, to getting out there. Um, 
I guess, yeah, what else is, is different and new? Are you doing presentations this year? Um, I am doing a couple. Um, I'm doing one with uh, um, my, my uh, great friend um, and colleague who's actually like right there um, looking at a computer. <laughs> Um, definitely looking like she's busy, so I, I definitely think she is. <laughs> um, we're doing a, a, a session for um, the, the monomyth uh, uh, conversation, not presentation, and we're going to talk about, um, actually, Ryan, if, if in that, um, that little box right there that is not holding um, yeah, that one. There's some big cards in there. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about like what it means for yeah. Will you pull out some of those? Um, that one's a good one. Yeah, that I can show. So we're gonna show, we're gonna play a uh, um, a game around like constructing constructing a narrative around like your course design and all of these different things. Yeah, you're throwing me all of the same ones. There we go. <laughs> um, so so we're gonna you know walk walk folks through like what it what it's like for in their courses um, to think about <laughs> course design um, to think about course design as it would relate to um, to storytelling and how to bring students through that process and how um, how they travel through that process themselves as well um, and really buckle down in terms of um, the monomyth and all of these things so I'm really looking forward to that one um, especially yeah, and then we're also presenting on uh, accessibility in the uh, emerging ideas uh, format, which is, is sort of like a digital poster format, I guess. We're presenting a website and we're going to be talking to people about uh, accessibility of, of web design, of class design, of, of our digital resources. And we're going to be presenting with one of our colleagues, Sarah Clark, who's new here. And she's also going to be uh, running the what, speed, speed Networking Lounge here at OLC. And so that's another idea that we've borrowed from Accelerate and that Angela uh, set up last year, uh, or this, this year at Accelerate. Um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing what she does in that space. Another one of your, your uh, uh, areas as emerging chair, mm -hmm. uh, or as engagement chair. Yeah. So all that to say, there's a lot going on, and this group especially um, is really jazzed out, jazzed out, jazzed up, jazzed, <laughs> jazzed something about um, this week. Um, and we definitely hope that you are too, because this is definitely um, what we are, what we are after. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back this evening uh, to show you around uh, game night. And we'll be uh, here all day tomorrow and, uh, and Thursday and Friday, uh, introducing you to everybody here at the conference. So can't wait to see you later on this evening and, uh, and yeah, show you around. All right. See you later, everyone. <laughs> That's where we're going to cut in you, Yodeling. <laughs> <laughs>